I have a problem. A screw problem. This is not how you organize this kind of stuff. I need to fix it. All right, so I got this cabinet years ago from the newspaper I worked at. And it held uh, negatives. It was back in the photography department. And so I had the idea a long time ago, years ago, that I was gonna build these little wooden, I was gonna build little wooden trays that fit in here and I could put the screws in there. And here we are all these years later and it's still, it's still basically a big tower of junk drawers. And that ends today. So the other day I was out at uh, Harbor Freight shopping for F clamps and I saw this little plastic tote and I thought, hey, I could fill that file cabinet with these little plastic totes and I could put the screws in them and they'd be organized. I texted my wife and I said, hey, can you go measure one of the drawers real quick? She did. The totes they had on sale wouldn't fit, but it got me thinking, why build something when I can just buy something? So in this video, I'm not gonna make a thing. I'm gonna just buy something and put these screws in those things and put them in that bin and move on with my life. So I looked online, I found something that should fit. I ordered it and I'm just waiting on it to get here. <laughs> Looking good. Like a mitten. Now we gotta go fill them and label them. I think the label maker comes in a close second right after a laminator. I do love a laminator. This organization is spectacular. Check this out. Washers, bolts, nuts, more washers, nails that I'll never ever use, random stuff, overflow, and empty containers, room to grow. So it's cool that I got all that organized, but at what cost? All this stuff, all this stuff that was in that vertical series of junk drawers now needs a home. And that leads to the next several videos. So we've been in this house now like four or five years, and I'm very fortunate that I've got this shop space. However, four or five years and it's still not like my shop. It's not my space, if that makes sense. I got a big white wall behind me. I'm more creative than that. And I got a white wall behind me. What the hell? Um, look over here. I mean, it's a mess, but look over here. I got this miter saw station with all that wasted space down there. You know, man, I would make a terrible weatherman. Wasted space under, basically, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something over there. There's gonna be some rolling drawer thingies and that's gonna be a build in the upcoming video because I have too many horizontal surfaces and I need drawers to put stuff in. Stuff just lives. It just lives on places and it's terrible, it's a mess. Something else I need is a place for ideas. So part of this white wall, I mean, bear with me, this makes no sense, but part of this white wall is gonna be jazzed up with, with a whiteboard. I mean, I'm gonna put a whiteboard on a white wall to spruce it up. Anyway, it'll be a place for ideas and that's what I need. I need a place to jot down ideas. So I got things, I got things I'm gonna do. I, I, need, to, I need to spruce this place up to make it a creative place I wanna be in. I also need, 
ways to make it more organized. So videos coming up, it's gonna be about some organization. In addition to this tote of stuff that I gotta find a home for, I did find some treasures. Stuff that I've been holding on to, I don't know why. Like, an old iPhone screen. General telephone tape measure. What is this thing? Why was that in there? Letter opener? Stealth steak knife? I don't know. Here's a great one. An old lighter. That's groovy, dude. Groovy. And it's Storm King. And it doesn't light. I mean, it's get a spark, but there's no fluid in it. So I'm gonna try and put some, hold on. This is not the right stuff for this, so this is probably not gonna work. Yeah. What the hell? This will probably explode in my hands. Oh, that's cold. Ooh, ha, ha. Maybe this is a bad idea. Stand away. Oh well. <laughs> Don't play with the fire. Uh, you know what else I found in those drawers? Also in my vertical junk drawers, I found this awesome Smokey the Bear ruler. Kind of a fan. Smokey's rule number five. Make sure your campfire is completely out before leaving it. I wonder what his other rules are. Only you can prevent forest fires. Wildfires. Only you can prevent wildfires. Always be careful with fire. Okay. Never play with matches or lighters. Now he tells me. Always watch your campfire. And number five we just read. Remember I said that was a film cabinet? That thing over there was a film cabinet? I found two pieces of old film. And there's nothing on them that, you know, just lends credibility to my uh, claim that that's, that was a film storage cabinet. And then this thing that my father-in-law got my wife before she was my wife. Check this out, they're baby blue hand tools. They came in a case, but the best part, do it herself. Are you kidding me? This is pandering overpriced crap. This is a tape measure that everybody can use. Everybody knows how to use this one. Are you kidding me? Anyway, so I know this video wasn't super exciting. I basically put plastic bins in a filing cabinet and sorting screws is like watching paint dry. But the point I'm trying to make with this one is, is you don't have to make everything. Sometimes take the shortcut because it's gonna get you to making things faster. Does that make sense? I, ho I, I hope we're vibing here. I hope, you get your, I hope you're hearing me. Thanks for hanging out in the shop with me today and I'll catch you next time when I'm gonna make That stays. Those folks got 10 years of my life. Mostly nights and weekends.